How do people buy out companies? I saw this question asked recently on Reddit and I saw a lot of very interesting answers to say the least. So I figured out since I have some experience in this area, I will answer this question. I will structure it into smaller companies and larger companies. And I figured that a lot of the interest will be in larger companies due to Elon Musk recently buying out Twitter. So this is hot and trending as of making this video. Starting off with smaller companies. Now, if you have a few founders, you have a successful company, well, then private equity companies are potential buyers of these companies or angel investors. They see potential, they go in, they purchase the company, they develop it, they streamline it, and then eventually they go for an IPO. Or investors such as angel investors can take part of the company, not buy the whole company, but part of it, still in the private market, still very small. Or you can also get funding from different small cap funds that specialize in picking out these types of companies and just to mention there's different funds here some small caps funds focus on companies that are listed and there are other ones that focus on unlisted companies so these are more illiquid but they also buy out companies now when it comes to larger deals such as the one with elon musk buying out twitter here we can see a lot of venture capital and private equity once again but also, in some cases, investment bankers. There's a whole division at the big banks for something called mergers and acquisition. And for the big deals, it's not only individuals, it's also companies that are doing these buys. And I've talked about it on some stock analysis on this channel before, that I think that this is a potential buyout target because they have something that a lot of larger companies could be very interested in. So this is a very real possibility and when it happens it tends to be 20% premium over the current market price as a rule of thumb and this is due to synergy values that the buying company can unlock. They only need one general administrative part so they can kick out the other one, they only need one HR division etc etc so they are able to save a lot of money and streamline. So, for example, with Twitter, that deal was made by angel investors, so Elon Musk, and then he looked at other partners to go in and take a stake at the company as well. So that's how he bought out it. Another very famous example is when Michael Dell bought out Dell from the stock market, and he did this together with a venture capital company called Silver Lake Capital. He made this famous buyout deal and then he also bought another large company. So these types of deals require a lot of capital and you will also have the investment bankers involved. And in a lot of cases you will have consultancy companies that go in and do due diligence. I don't know how much due diligence was made in the case for Twitter. but. When Elon Musk talked a lot about how there are so many bots here, well, that's a result of some due diligence, probably. And typically this is done by some sort of management consultant at one of the large consultancies. And then the financials is being done with the investment bank to close out the deal. And in some cases, you know, there's not even somebody that's actively looking to buy. But an investment banker has done an analysis on a company and I think that this is a perfect acquisition target for another company. And then they will reach out and try to sell this as a deal to try to get it through. So this is the way this whole market works and how people buy out companies. I hope this answer helped. I hope it made you a bit smarter today. And as always, like I like to end these videos, I hope you make a ton of money, whatever investments you decide to make. Take care now. Bye-bye.